do you how do you sum things up? Do you, do you feel you did enough to get something from that game or, or not? We did good things. We did bad things during the game. Uh, the overall performance was not as good as we expected. Um, but we had good moments. We had good moments. Disappointed though of the way we can see. Uh, end of the first half, um, we were open, disorganized, we didn't, we didn't, and we allowed a simple pass that break all the lines, so, but good reaction on second half, but not really testing um, your ease, half chances, finishing that requires better, better, better um, situation, but uh, that's the idea, let's try and, and <coughs> improve a lot of young players that that needs need a lot of work. It was the timing of that, that first goal, all important. Was, was you know, that the, the, the turning point, if you like? Yes, uh, yes, because in the first half we were organised. We didn't uh, allow uh, the main situations. Tottenham, it was uh, pressing and uh, set pieces and all this mess in the box. But besides that, we were controlling, um, controlling well the team. Tottenham had very good players. But um, the turning point effect, like you said, uh, finishing out, yeah. finishing out, 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 out. Uh, there and um, something that I'm disappointed, really disappointed of the manner. A simple pass that breaks all the line, you cannot allow that. Uh, tell us about the, the performance today of, of Connor Cody, particularly, particularly in that, that first half. How it meant people think? Mm. Yeah, it was good. It was a, a, he had a lot of blocks, he had a lot of situations. And like I said, um, that came in the moment that Tottenham gave us, gave us some pressing and we were able to, to, to prevent and avoid the goal. So um, that was the idea. But not individually, only at Cody, I think. Defensively, we were compact, but not aggressive enough. Some duels to, to solve some problems. Gareth Southgate was there watching. Uh, I know he'll have his opinion, but in terms of Connor, that that won't have done him, won't have done his chances of making the Euros any harm at all. Surely. You don't have to ask me, me that. You have to ask Gareth Southgate about his idea. What I know is, you know, what I see is a, a fantastic player, our captain. That um, his commitment to all the situation is amazing. So I'm pleased with that. Two matches to go, there will be fans. How much of a difference is, is that going to make? Makes a big difference. Makes a di big difference. We felt it and we are feeling all year long that the absence of fans takes the edge of the game. And uh, the joy we saw yesterday, the FA Cup final, was 21,000, but the noise and the atmosphere, this is what football is about. So let's try to, to have them back these couple of games so we can have him back fully on the next season because it's the essence of the, of the game. No, no, thank you. Listen, wish you well, safe journey back. The defensive issues that, that the team has uh, suffered with so much? A lot of work, a lot of work, discipline, um, um, individual uh, improvement, um, a lot of work, a lot of work. Um, we have to stay and spend many time, many hours on the on the training ground, so we can improve and correct. That's the only solution. So are you hopeful that a number of weeks in pre-season will be, you know, a, a key time to sort out those issues in terms of organisation and individual improvement, like you say. We have to solve it in a couple of days because we're going to face Everton. We cannot put it to the pre-season. We have to solve it immediately. Um, we can concede goals. The manner of, of, of the, how we can see this one time, disappointed that, okay, if your opponent does a fantastic uh, combination and has talent, okay, you have to, to say, okay, let's go again. But one pass, that, one simple pass that breaks all the lines is something that we cannot afford to, to, to allow that the same situation on, on the second goal. We have to be, we have to stop the situation on, on that on that moment, so sometimes we feel that we create our own problems, not by credit of the opponents.
Can I just ask you about Daniel Pudence? So I gather, is he, is he had some sort of procedure or, or surgery to fix a groin problem? Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna he's going to surgery tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, yeah, a.m. AM eight a.m. Yeah, he's going to do a surgery, solving a problem that he was been dragging some while now, and this is the right moment to to solve it so we can we can return better. Okay. Or or, 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 or I'd like it's like it's, the decision Max did a very good game against Brighton, very good game, um, and he's gonna get, gonna play again. And um, it's a matter of decision and options, um, but we trust Max as we always did. Brilliant. And uh, Theo Corbiani made his debut today as well. Um, has that been a long time coming for him? Yeah, he made his debut, and um, I'm happy for him. He's a young player that's in the under 23s. He's working with us um, almost every day. He has talent, but um, I think him um, more than anyone else have the realization that this is very hard. This is very hard, and you can see the way the way he approaches his, his duels. He has to become stronger because um, it's the high standards in the Premier League that we require. So happy for him, um, but realizing that. The talent is there. It requires a lot of many, many other aspects of this game, so he can become a better player. What has he shown you in training to, to be involved in the first team so often? His talent. He has a good one v one offensively. Um, he's fast, um, but he needs to improve. He's 18, like many of uh, our young players. He's one more player that we want to, to develop and 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 take take him further to our future. Thank you. Thank you.